The mega millions and the Powerball jackpots combined now for what has reached a whopping $1.3 billion. But as Frank Holland explains, new lottery formulas have made the long odds of winning a little bit longer. That hasn't stopped consumers everywhere from coming down with a case of lottery fever. More than a billion reasons to play the lottery. Each one of these tickets could potentially change my life. Gary Horvath is playing to win and hoping to hit it big. I try to tell people someone's going to win the lottery. Why not me? All around the country, people are playing Mega Millions and Powerball. Michael Palmer picking six numbers and hoping for one of the nine-digit jackpots. You have to give yourself the opportunity to win. Mega Millions is on Friday. It now has a $900 million jackpot with the potential to grow to a billion dollars. With the pot being as big as it is, you obviously want to give yourself a chance, maybe multiple chances, depending on how much money you got in your pocket. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Thank, Thank you. you sir. These days, your chances of winning big money are actually slimmer. But with the Mega Millions and the Powerball, they change their formulas to increase jackpots and attract more players, but that comes with longer odds. Random, random, just random numbers. That's Stacey Bailey's strategy. Lottery officials say about 90% of the big winners do it the same way. It's going to take a long time to figure out what to do with that kind of cash once you have it, right? Larry Kadish says he's playing for fun with his coworkers. And what are the plans if you actually win? It depends on how much we win. I just won $8. Can't leave your job over that, right? Definitely not. That's the upside of the new formulas. More winners for smaller prizes. But most lottery players have the same big dreams. The next Mega Millions drawing tomorrow night. And the next chance to win the Powerball will come Saturday. Good luck. Later in sports, the Force are back on home ice. Beth will be in with all the highlights. Up next, new testing points out problems with certain booster seats, which ones and why they're breaking. Tonight's news brought to you by Dakota Magic Casino and Hotel. You're watching Valley News Live on KVLY, your hometown NBC station. For a limited time, get 0% interest for six years at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale, and you can finance it free for six years. Plus, free shipping on purchases $4.99 or more. Hurry, six-year financing ends Saturday, only at Home Furniture. Celebrate Florida Ceiling Carpet One's Customer Appreciation Day at their Fall Open House, Saturday, October 27th from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. To celebrate, Florida Ceiling Carpet One is offering you a $250 gift certificate toward your next purchase just for stopping in. There'll be an 11 a.m. seminar on flooring trends and a 1 p.m. seminar on countertop trends. Go to their Facebook page to register. The Fall Open House Customer Appreciation Day, Saturday, October 27th from 10 until 3 at Florida Ceiling Carpet One in Fargo. Your individual gun rights are at risk at the Supreme Court. President Trump picked Brett Kavanaugh to defend your rights and break the tie at the Supreme Court. But Heidi Heitkamp said no. That's why the National Rifle Association endorses only Kevin Kramer. Kevin Kramer is the only candidate for Senate with an A rating from the NRA. Heidi Heitkamp just doesn't vote like North Dakota. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Gearing up for chillier weather or looking to satisfy your sweet tooth? Fleet Farm has you covered. Get a free $20 gift card when you spend $120 on all Carhartt. Mars Fun Size Candy Bars, five bags for $10. 24-ounce scent killer gold spray combo, $7.99 after rebate. And the first alert carbon monoxide alarm with battery backup on sale $19.99. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Reason number 45 to fly Fargo. We have tuna casserole. They have catch of the day. With close parking and the shortest lines around, you'll have more time to savor seafood that's actually fresh. Hector International Airport. Find your reason to fly Fargo. Reason number 15. The only thing you'll be working on is your tan. With flights a few minutes from your front door, you'll have more time to catch some rays and then earn that raise. Hector International Airport. Find your reason to fly Fargo. Now at Home Sleep Express, you can buy a Queen Serta Perfect Sleeper mattress for the price of a twin or take 15% off king size. This Queen Special Edition mattress is now twin priced at $389. Queen for the price of a twin at Home Sleep Express. Parents 
without toddlers know that one of the most important products they need is a car seat. Consumer Reports says parts of four popular toddler booster car seats broke during recent testing. Here's more on what they found and what parents can do about it. Valley News Team's Lisa Badeau explains. Toddler booster seats are forward-facing car seats that can be initially used with a five-point harness, and then they transition to be used as a booster with the car's own seat belts. Consumer Reports' crash evaluations are more rigorous than the federal safety crash test requirements, which all seats must meet in order to be sold. CR's tests of the Britax Frontier click tight, the Pioneer, and the Costco Finale 2-in-1 and the Harmony Defender 360 found that the load-bearing components at the rear of all four seats break when tested with dummies whose weight nears seats limits for its harness system. When the structure surrounding either the harness or the top tether breaks, it can compromise the seat's ability to protect the child in a subsequent crash event. It may also allow the child to move further forward, which means they can contact portions of the vehicle interior. And if the harness disengages completely, the seat is no longer restraining the child. Consumer Reports knows of no injuries related to the structural failures revealed in its crash tests. So what should you do if you own one of these seats? CR says you should not stop using the seat unless you have one to replace it. Any car seat is better than no car seat, and these seats all provide a basic margin of safety. If your child weighs less than 40 pounds, you are good to keep using the seat with the five-point harness. If your child weighs more than 40 pounds, the minimum weight for booster use in these seats and can safely fit the vehicle seat belt, use the seats in the booster mode. If they're over 40 pounds, but still too small for them to fit the booster and vehicle seat belts correctly, CR says you should replace your car seat with a different forward-facing harnessed car seat. In statements to CR, Britex, Costco, and Harmony all reiterated the safety of their seats and noted that they meet federal standards and that CR's testing differed from the government's. Lisa Badeau, Valley News Live. If you do need to replace your child's car seat, Consumer Reports recommends the Graco Milestone, the Graco Forever, and the Chico Next Fit. Fall, of course, is in full swing, and that means pumpkin spice is on the menu. And to celebrate, Buffalo Wild Wings is launching a new barbecue pumpkin ale sauce. The flavor, which was released earlier this month, has fans divided. Buffalo Wild Wings officials say the pumpkin spice sauce is only available for a limited time. Officials say dozens of people across the country have been infected with a drug-resistant strain of salmonella. The CDC reported that so far the outbreak has infected 92 people in 29 states. In Minnesota, three people have reported getting sick. The strain has been identified in a variety of raw chicken products and in live chickens. However, the specific cause of the outbreak has not yet been discovered. The CDC says you do not need to avoid chicken, but you should be sure that the meat is properly cooked before eating. Is the force with you? <laughs> it certainly is all weekend. They're in town tonight and tomorrow we've got highlights from this first of the two coming up next.